What's Demon Dreamers? Ever wanted to learn how to play some kind of musical instrument only to find that it's way harder than it looks on the surface? Well, you're in luck because in this video I'm going to be showcasing slash showing you how to play songs by a children's musician by the name of Rafi. He's really talented and we're going to be playing it on a really easy instrument called the ukulele. So grab your favorite uke and let's get started. Hold up, what if you don't have your own ukulele? Oh, um, if you don't have a ukulele, feel free to check one out at your local library, like one in the Northwest Regional Library System. But I don't have any money. Help me. Oh, it, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, ukulele rentals are 100% free. What? Se I know, seriously? That's, that's cool. amazing. Yeah, that's and you can ask such a great idea. idea. I'm like, so happy maybe give them a call with your banana people. phone and... My what? You know, your ba banana phone, your cellular, modular, interlocutor phone. It's, it's a song by Rafi. Oh, that's a relief. I thought I might have to learn a second instrument just to put a ukulele on hold. Another instrument? Yeah, like maybe a banana phone is like a saxophone, or a trombone, or a xylophone. You do know that all instruments don't rhyme, right? Th th they don't? Bruh. Let's get started. So the first thing you'll need is a ukulele. Uh, I'm, I'm missing mine, so uh... Whoa, that was pretty cool. All right, so here's my ukulele. Um, you'll want to hold it like this if you're right-handed. Uh, take the body of the ukulele, sit it in your lap or underneath your arm. Take your left hand and put it around this long portion here called the neck. So there you go. That's how you hold the ukulele. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you love musical content. We're going to do some more of it. And feel free to come back and watch us later. We'll really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Wait, you're still here? You forgot to teach us how to play it. Right. I, I'm supposed to teach you how to play it. So, after you've figured out how to hold the ukulele, the first most important thing to do is to make sure it's in tune. Um, it's really hard to tell just by playing it to see if it's in tune. Whenever you pull one from the library, we'll have something like this. It's a little tuner that attaches to the head of the ukulele, and you hold down the button, and that turns it on. And it immediately starts telling me what pitches I'm speaking, or even what notes the ukulele is playing. It's kind of hard to see with this camera, so I'm gonna give you a different camera position now to kind of show you using an app on my smartphone. Hey, so this app is called Free Ukulele Tuner, which we'll start off with is a screen like this. It shows you the four different strings of a ukulele, one, two, three, four, and you wanna sit it close to your ukulele. Now, you'll take your first string, this is actually the fourth string, it's one of the higher strings, and you'll play. What you'll notice is the needle moves when it hears the ukulele strummed. And what you want to do is use the tuning pegs at the top, twisting them to change the pitch of the instrument such that the needle points to the green dot in the middle. That's how you'll know you're in tune. Perfect. So the first string on a ukulele is called the G string, or the, the G4 is what it says on the app here. Once you have your G string tuned, the next one you'll want to go to is the C string. So you'll tap on C, place your tuner by your ukulele, use your thumb or a pick, and strum the C string. Use the tuning pegs at the top to tune. There you go. The next two strings are the E string and the A string. You'll do the exact same for those two strings as far as tuning. I'll go ahead and do those real quick so you don't have to wait. Perfect. What you'll notice is that almost every tuner, even the ones that we give you from the library, will have some kind of way of using a needle and a green light to let you know that you're in tune. Once you're in tune, your instrument will sound something like this. Pretty. Now, on to teaching you how to play a song by Rafi. Uh, the one I want to show you today is called Baby Beluga. The song only takes four fingers total. That's one on your right hand and three on your left hand. And we're going to be teaching you four different chords that are really easy to figure out. The first finger you'll need to use is the one on your right hand. This is your strumming finger. A strum is whenever you play all four strings of the ukulele at the same time. Like that. Pick a finger, your thumb, index or middle fingers are usually the popular ones to pick. I'll show you how to do it with your thumb first. So you want to take your thumb, 
and use it to strum along the sides of the strings somewhere over the whole of the ukulele is best. You don't want to strum with the tip of your thumb like this because it's, it, it's really awkward to strum like this. It, it can hurt over time. And you don't want to strum on the very side of your thumb either. It's not a loud sound. It's somewhere right in the middle of your thumb on the corner to make your loudest sound. For people who want to use their index or middle fingers, usually they strum using their fingernail. Again, not the very tip of it and not the side of it, but you want to strum on your fingernail on the corner of your index or middle finger. It's for people who like that sharper sound to their strings. I prefer the softer one. It sounds a lot more mellow. We'll start with one chord, it's called the C chord. Every chord is named after a letter of the alphabet, starting with A and going to G. So this one's going to be C. It's the easiest chord by far. Uh, you can start with any of your three fingers on your left hand here, your index, middle, or ring finger. I like the ring finger. Place your ring finger on the third fret of the first string. You need to know what frets are. If you look closely at a ukulele, you'll find that there are these little metal bits that help divide up the ukulele's neck. Between each bar is where you put your fingers. It's also called a fret. Uh, the first fret is the first little rectangle created by the metal bit and the plastic bit at the head of the ukulele. And each fret is numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As you go up in the frets, the pitch of the notes that you play gets higher and higher. Another important thing to note is that ukulele strings are numbered from the bottom to the top. So when I say the first string, you'll want to play this string, the one that's closest to the ground. The fourth string is the one that's closest to you. Now, let's play that C chord. Start with your ring finger and place it on the third fret, one, two, three, of the first string. That's the one closest to the ground. Once you're there, take your strumming finger, whichever one you picked, I'm gonna use my thumb, and strum. That chord's called a C chord. It's definitely the easiest, and you can get most of the way through the first part of Baby Beluga with just that one chord. I'll show you. Baby beluga in the deep blue sea, swim so wild and swim. Wait a minute, I changed chord. The next chord that I'm gonna show you today is the G7 chord. This one uses all three of your fingers. It's a little bit harder, but pay attention and I'm sure you'll get it. You'll use your ring finger on the first string again, this time on the second fret. Next, you'll use your middle finger on the third string and you'll put it on the second fret as well. Lastly, you'll take your index finger and you'll push it real hard on the first fret of the second string. And once you're ready to strum, strum. Again, this is the G7 chord, so a letter and a number. So we have two chords so far, the C with your ring finger, and you have your G7 with all three fingers. That gets you all the way through the first verse of Baby Beluga and right into the chorus. I'll show you how it sounds. You ready? One, two, ready, play. Baby Beluga in the deep blue sea Swim so wild and swim so free Heaven above and the sea below Just a little white whale on the go Awesome! So we got all the way through the first verse. There's two more chords before we finish with the song. Only two more and I'll let you know what those are as soon as you dip down below and tap like on the video. Be sure to subscribe as well while you're down there. If you like this kind of musical content, I'd be happy to make more videos on ukulele or other instruments that the library has to offer. Now then, since you are liked and subscribed on the video, I hope, I'll show you the other two chords for Baby Beluga. Uh, the next one is called an F chord. So we have C, G7, and F. So what you wanna do is use your index finger and your middle finger for this one. Index finger, point your finger, goes on the second string, first fret. Sounds like that. Your middle finger will go on the second fret of the fourth string. So it goes like this. Make sure your sound is clear whenever you're strumming. It's okay to go slow just to make sure that the sound comes out perfect. You don't want it to be too soft where only a few strings come out. And you don't want to be too hard with it or the strings will start to buzz. It doesn't sound good. And the last chord is a lot like the F chord, except instead of using your index finger, we'll use our middle finger and ring fingers. Your middle finger stays in the same place, so that's the fourth string of second fret. Not the first fret, the second fret. 
The next place is your middle finger on the second fret of the second string. Not the first fret, second fret. You'll play it like this. Sounds good. Pay attention when you're playing the chords to how they make you feel. Is this one a happy chord, a sad chord? Does it ask a question? Most of the time in music, questions need resolutions. Like that. Now, before we play Baby Beluga all the way through, I would like for you to stick around and listen to Cartoon Kai. I'll give you a few minutes on what made Rafi so special as far as being a musician and an activist. Thanks, I'd love to. Rafi Kavukian is a musician, author, producer, and activist born in Cairo, Egypt, to Armenian parents on July 8, 1948. He didn't start out as all of those things though, he started out as a kid like everyone else, going to school, annoying his siblings, and moving to new places. Later as an adult, Rafi frequented a local guitar shop, learned the instrument, and started playing folk songs all around Canada. It wasn't until he played a few songs for a Canadian public school that he accidentally stumbled into playing music for kids. He published his first children's album called Let's Play in 2002, and quickly became a well-established musician, joining the ranks of other amazing Canadian musicians. Seriously, there are a lot of popular Canadian musicians. Maybe it has something to do with the cold weather? In Ravi's case though, his talent clearly came from how much he cared about children. Almost all of his songs are catchy and simple to appeal to young people. He talks about everything from silly banana phones to important songs like Baby Beluga. That's right, Rafi wrote the song after seeing a beluga whale at an aquarium and learning about how so many whales had died due to environmental hazards. He wanted people to be aware of their impact on the environment and to help kids learn at a young age to care about the world they live in. Rafi has written many more songs about other topics as well. Almost all of them are easy to learn and fun to sing along to. You should definitely give them a try. Speaking of which, Sounds like everyone's warmed up, so let's have a sing-along. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. For you guys at home, I'm gonna have the chords posted somewhere on the screen for you to see. Whenever you see the chord ready to change, be ready with your left hand to change the chords as well. If it goes too fast, feel free to practice as many times as you want. It took me several takes to get this, so for sure it takes practice to get perfect. So without further ado, this is Baby Beluga by Rafi. Baby Beluga in the deep blue sea Swims so wild and swims so free Heaven above and the sea below And the little white whale on the go Baby Is the water warm? Is your mama home with you? So happy, baby beluga, baby beluga. Is the water warm? Is your mama home with you? So happy. Hey guys, Bongo Kyle here. Thank you so much for watching my video on how to play Baby Beluga by Rafi. Feel free to like this video if you like other musical stuff like this. Subscribe if you want to see more tutorials on how to play the ukulele or the bongos or any other number of instruments that the library might have sitting around. Share with us on Facebook your pictures and videos of instruments that you have around the house that you're learning how to play. Stay safe, wash your hands, play the bongos or the ukulele or the banana, whichever you want, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.